Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another Merch Talk. And we are here live with Jeff and Chris. Hello guys. Hello guys. Hello everybody. So, my name is Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures. I sell on Merch and other platforms as well. But every week we come on and we talk all about Merch by Amazon and Jeff's cat. So, <laughs> <laughs> you can find me here at Texas Gal Treasures. And guys, do you want to introduce yourself and tell people where they can find you? just in case they want to. Go ahead, Chris. Hey everyone, I'm Chris, the Thrift Shop Hustler. I have a YouTube channel. You can find me in the links below, and I'm glad to be here to talk about merch. Lots of exciting things. Thank you, everyone, for being here. <laughs> Your turn, Jeff. Um, yeah, I'm Jeff. I sell on merch, I guess. We have, that's a requirement for the Ellen Show. Um, <laughs> other platforms. You can find me on YouTube, Facebook, <coughs> Pardon me, I'm getting over this cough. Okay, um, I'm yeah. super excited. We have a sponsor this this week, and, and and possibly for the upcoming weeks as well. So I want to share with you guys. Drum roll, our sponsor. Okay, let me switch over. Our sponsor is MerchDesigns.com, and I'm going to be making a video later this week, walking through their website and everything. But it's a site where you can go on you. You pay per month to get access to all the designs, and then you pay for the designs. But the designs look really good, and they do offer a three-day free trial. So thank you, MerchDesigns.com, for sponsoring this show. Okay, yeah. yay! I know, I'm excited. And and I, you know, I went on because I I want to make sure that if we're sharing the sites, that the the designs and stuff look good, and the designs look really good on the site. So. I'm pretty excited because I am going to do a, a, a giveaway. He sent me some designs to do a giveaway while, and show the site and all that good stuff later this week. So, yay. Nice. It's exciting. So, how's it, how's it going? You guys were so chatty before we went live. <laughs> I always wait for Jeff. So I always like think Jeff's. So, like, it's funny. If I started talking, then Jeff would talk. But if I wait for Jeff to talk, he doesn't talk. Okay, how about this? On on odd days, Chris goes first. On even days, <laughs> Jeff goes first. I, I don't even. I, my brain is is putty. I can't even know what an odd or even day would be. I Jeff, know. Jeff, take it away. How's your week been? I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! But uh, besides that, um, it's been slow, s slow and steady. I guess November has not s started off like Q4 should. Yeah, I'm having the same uh, issues. Very slow. I think I've sold 28 shirts this far th this month, which is good, I guess, for my previous months. But the ever since the whole, um, I guess we can get into it later about the whole throttling, tinfoiling, and everything. But ever since they changed up the algorithm somehow or messed with the site, my sales have just plummeted. Well, you know, I, I always say I do between four and eight a day, and it's been low end. Um, it's been three, uh, and yesterday was a good six, but uh, before that, the whole month, it's been two or three a day. It's just, man. Yeah, yeah my, mine's actually picked up this month. So last month was pretty slow. It was like, you know, between one, three, four a day, somewhere in there. I even had a couple of days with zero. And then this month, it's been pretty, st I mean, not a huge amount, but I mean, more like seven or so a day, stuff like that. So. It's getting better. You didn't. <laughs> so everyone who's having slow sales, just hang in there. I mean, I'm I'm gonna say that yesterday picked up from the past week. Mm -hmm. So it looks like you know they got this. They got the they got the uh, long sleeves in, and I think their algorithms are finally starting to like correct themselves, and things are starting to get a little bit back to normal ish. So we'll see. Yeah. I'm going the opposite direction. I think since I did the long sleeve shirts, everything's been grinding to a halt. I mean, I had a burst yesterday, like I said, of six, but I think the long sleeve shirt <laughs> kind of put in a damper on everything. Well, I mean, maybe that's, I mean, I know it's all speculation. I was looking for my hat. I have a hat. <laughs> do you have a hat? I do. And now I can't find it, darn it. Oh um, <laughs> next time, next time. Um, but uh, maybe that was, I mean, this is total speculation. Why things were kind of slow because they were, ironing out all the kinks they were slowing things down so they could roll out these long sleeve shirts you know yeah, it seems like when they did because yesterday we all know that 
they gave a burst of long sleeve shirts to everybody, you know, it seems like. And I guess everyone just started uploading their long sleeve shirts <laughs> because I kept on getting white screens, you know, yeah. 503s or whatever. And so I just stopped and still every, I uploaded five long sleeves like yesterday and they're still in processing. Yeah. So, all, all my long sleeves are all in processing still. I had the white screens yesterday. Today, that issue seems to have corrected itself. I don't know if they added more server space or just the, the volume yesterday was crazy, but it seems the uploading portion of everything has seemed to have got back to normal. Margaret, are you are your long sleeves, if you processed any, are they still in processing also? Um, no, I've just been putting a bunch of stuff in draft. I had a super busy day yesterday, so I was just uploading images and then just sticking them all in draft, so... I flush them out later. Yeah, it was weird because I do my long sleeves and I go to processing and then I started doing some reloads and those got approved and went live. You know, all those are live now, but the long sleeves are still sitting there in processing. Yeah. And I just did three more reloads and they're, they're already going live. <laughs> so I don't know. Just weird. It's just, in the chat likes your shirt, Jeff. Is this one of yours? Is this one of your this, masterpieces? This is one of mine. Yeah. You need to send me the link. I'll stick it in the in the description box so somebody can order your shirt. Okay. Do you have it on Amazon or is it just on your on your? I have um, both. Yeah, send me your link and I'll stick it in there. Okay. You got to do it. People are gonna want. They're gonna want to take your shirt off. Yeah, we have a lot of great people in the chat. I want to thank everyone also in the chat who has came in to watch the show live. We really appreciate your support. We have Nick Eden in the house. We did a little bit of an interview last week, and that was an amazing show. So anyone after this show, if you want to go and check out last week's show, if you didn't see it, Nick was on. Amazing guest. We hope to have him on again. And with that being said, awesome, Nick. Yep, he, he called us out in his last podcast. What do you mean? <laughs> um. He and I, I did listen to it, but I don't think I took my ginkgo biloba this morning, so I can't remember what it was about now. <laughs> uh oh, no, that's cool. That's a good spoiler. To that's a good little like teaser for me to go and listen to the episode. Now. I'll, rem I'll remember later, like as soon as we. <laughs> but I did listen to it, and right at the end, he was like, "Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna." Yeah, now I can't remember. Maybe he'll tell us in the chat. <laughs> Anywho, okay. So yeah, Sal is laughing in the chat. So thanks for coming, everybody. Lots of people in the chat hanging out. Okay, so long sleeves. I forgot long. what we were going to talk they're, about. And they're long too, like, like this, like. Doop, so some doop. people were saying, <laughs> and they cost a bit. They cost a bit, yeah. Some people were saying that they thought they were going to be almost like a non-starter. Like, do people order long sleeve shirts? Are they going to be? I've had people like that have gone to my site and request long sleeve shirts, so I put them up there. Yeah. But with Printful and everything, I was telling somebody in a chat or in a post, my what I charge for my long sheets or what I people buy them for is less than Amazon's our cost, you yeah. know, through Printful. So I, I I I personally would never pay twenty five bucks for a long sleeve shirt shirt. But I don't know. There's people out there I will, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's – and I, th I think I own maybe two long sleeve shirts. I prefer a three-quarters – look at us. Just I like them. I like long sleeve yeah. shirts. We never get cold enough for them here. That's what I was saying. I'm in California. Well, I guess Jeff and I are in California. We never need them. I think I owned – in my entire life, I owned one long sleeve shirt, and that's because my grandma bought it for me for Christmas, so – there's that. You know what's a bad <laughs> turtlenecks? Oh, my God. A mock Nin turtleneck. 1990, 1991, man, was turtlenecks. Yeah, I think they should have started with hoodies. I think hoodies would have sold better for Christmas. I don't know why they would have didn't start with hoodies. Yeah, I thought the price point of the long sleeve shirts, too, were, were a little high. But, you know, I actually bumped them up because it was like a three seventy nine or something yeah. like that default profit, which is insane. You know, that's like a shirt profit. So it's like, I don't know. That oh, that shirt profit for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's <laughs> That's actually like a, a crazy profit for me. But uh, I've been raising my prices. I actually sold a, a 1999 shirt yesterday. So I was actually stoked about that. I took Jeff's advice of 
um, taking all my best sellers and putting them on premium for $19.99. And I've sold first one yesterday. So good advice, Jeff. Thank you. I'm good for something. Yeah. Now I bumped my price up too. I, I the four sixty nine or whatever you know the sixteen ninety nine t shirts you get a four sixty nine profit. That's a minimum for me. You know, you know, round up five bucks. That's my minimum. So yeah, I bumped my long sleeves up a buck so I can get that four sixty nine at least. Yeah, I actually dropped some of my prices. Did you? That's not. I mean. I think we're still new. We're in the process of figuring out what works for us individually because everyone's, you know, account's going to be different. I actually rose mine to twenty nine ninety nine just to like see, like, hey, you know, maybe they'll sell, maybe not, but it's just crazy. Well, Joe, twenty eight ninety nine. Yeah. Okay. Here's my thoughts. So let's say I'm. So I made some Thanksgiving shirts, and this is a shirt that you're going to wear for like a day, you know maybe and it's not a huge holiday for shirt buying i wouldn't think i don't think or like you know so i'm like well i'll drop the price down because i mean if i'm buying a shirt for say my bachelorette party that's a shirt that my girls are only going to wear one night one night right or whatever so it's a memorable night and it's worth 19.99 so it's like i'm only going to wear this shirt one time until this hot stripper rips it off me and I'm only going to go because I need that other five bucks for the G-strings. Wow. <laughs> Hopefully a hot stripper. <laughs> anyway. I got a website for you. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm trying to get into the mind of these ladies or men. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so does anyone know what the lowest tier was that were, was getting long sleeves? Um, Nevada's in the chat. She's at 100. And she said she hasn't gotten them yet. Yeah, I'm at five. I got them, and I don't think I've seen less than five, Jeff. I haven't. In the chat, let us know if you're, what tier you're on. Just write your tier and put yes or no for the long sleeves. Yeah, if you got a long sleeve, if you got the long sleeve hookup and you're in the hundredth tier or below, let us know. So you're not going to upload a lot of long sleeves in? <laughs> Probably not if you're at the 10 tier, 25 tier. Well, no, I'm talking, um, well, me? Girl? Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Oh. Hey, girl. Um, you can upload long sleeve shirts. I was about to put one through. I mean, maybe a, a holiday on holiday ones. So, so I'm seeing in the chat. A few I'm going through my starting with my bet. You know, I have my list of all my sellers and how many each. And I'm just going right down the list. And I figure in three or four weeks, I'll be I'll have 800 and 900 live shirts, and they can tear me up to 2,000 and. Oh, this is true. Bob's your uncle. I mean, if you're going through uploading, because that's what, <coughs> pardon me, I was uploading designs yesterday, you know, and I was putting them on regular premium. I was like, okay, I'll stick one on. But I have like 80 designs a day I can upload, so why not? Yeah, that's what I figured. I, I haven't come up with a new design in a week or so, so I'm just re up, doing re uploads and then putting all my popular ones on long sleeve and premium. Yeah, I, I say the long sleeve situation is perfect for the, the thousand or in higher tiers because a lot of you guys have all those slots to fill. I think, Margaret, you have like, what, 80 slots a day to fill? I do, yeah. So this is like no-brainer, uh, instant like uploads. I mean, boom, boom, boom. You you can literally fill half of your inventory in There's long sleeves There's only five colors, so it's not like you have to do two or three listings either. Right. right. So. I think, like, which one does it look best, huh? You know, you don't have to play around with all that so. now here's a thought uh -oh. Since they were slowly rolling out the long sleeves you know by tier and i guess they're through 500 and they're going to do 100 maybe next week so once they got those all out are they going to do hoodies mm. and do the same thing so you might want to save some of those slots well i can always take stuff down yeah that's true put stuff up got enough space so that's cool that's cool so do we really do we really think they throttle the real? i just think there's so many t-shirts now you know they just get lost in the forest i say they do that's my tinfoil hat i think they do i wish we had some sort of definitive 
Because here's the thing, you can actually just, I mean, you can have theories and have tinfoil hat and be like, oh, blah, blah, blah. But when I'm having all kinds of great sales for the month of October, and then they start screwing with uh, um, uh, long sleeves and everything is when my sales just like literally just dropped off. That's not normal. A normal kind of thing would, there'd be a little bit of scattered data but this data literally just went from point a to point b which indicates some sort of modification of the system the government is responsible <laughs> i'm telling you it's all a conspiracy <laughs> or all the people in your niches just bought the shirt and there's no more people in that niche left see that's the logic right there that's why do you got to be all logical jeff Jeez. all the beekeepers have all the shirts now and they're done <laughs> i mean Look at how many people are in merch now, and I haven't brought it up, but there's got to be two million shirts out there. No, yeah. Jeff does have a good point there because I was thinking. I actually thought I had that thought the other day. I'm like, okay, in my niches, I'll, I was selling tons of shirts, and now it's kind of dropped off. It makes sense, you know. There's a certain amount of people. I just did a merch informer click search, so it brings up all the merch shirts. And it says 93 million results. From I mean, what previous? I don't know, but it was a lot less than that. I mean, yeah, I was going to say, if you have the data before that, that would actually be a good data yeah, set. But last time, this time last year, I believe it was a million or two million. <coughs> now wow. there's like nine, 9 million? Maybe 9 million. I don't know. It wasn't 93. It's 93 million right now. 93 million? 93 million, 696,570. 93 million. Million, and I bet you that just jumped up in the past couple of weeks because of all the long sleeves, and people are jumping up. So I think you know it's going to get harder and harder as more people do it. More people are copying designs or whatever, and right, right, right. It's going to just it's diluted now. Maybe so, so. May, maybe we'll also see the ninety day thing go down again. You know, maybe it'll be sixty day again, so they can kind of shuffle the system, recycle the system through. Nah, people just re upload them. Like me. Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> so, I, I mean, know. I guess that's, you know, something to be said for diversifying. I mean, I didn't re upload any of my Halloween shirts. I didn't sell. I'll just save those for next year and put them back up. But yeah, and you're looking at the top shirts, you know, the Eminem shirt that everyone screaming copyright is up there in the top. I heard about that last week. I was like, what is, what is that whole thing, real quick? It's just an M. This the M, the, like the lowercase M. But, yeah, but they're using the same font as M and M. And they're those shirts no. are getting taken down. No, they're still up here. I, I don't know if they're being taken down. But right here in the first page, I see one, two, three, four, five M shirts. But some of them are different fonts. Most of them are the M and M font. Yeah, I thought they did take some of them down a while back. I, I heard I some coming down. The, top, the number one shirt is an M. So, yeah. Well, the thing is, I, I wouldn't touch the M&M &M font because, when I, you know, like this whole thing about, you know, milk chocolate melts in your mouth, not in your hand. I call I call bull crap on that because the the chocolate melts in my hand. What it's is you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's false advertising. No, you no. Know, Coca-Cola, did they just become a merch person? Because there's a bunch of Coca-Cola shirts that it wouldn't top. surprise me. I want to surprise. I mean, I wonder if that part of that 93 million are the big, big dogs like that too. Yeah, it's everybody. Because you know, Coca-Cola, Marvel doesn't have an upload limit. You know, they don't have a, they're not on any 8,000 tier. Or what They're probably uploading. Yeah, this is the Coca-Cola official brand. All day long, you know. Jeff, Jeff do you know if these, that, <clears throat> excuse me, that 93 million <laughs> Is it all merch by Amazon, or is it just second, uh, third-party shirts? It's just merch. Because mm. this, when you click search without a keyword, it brings up just the merch shirts and the novelties. Click on the Coca-Cola one. See how many Coca-Cola shirts are up there. Oh, let me see. Yeah, it would say like officially licensed or some kind of like. Well, the brand is Coca-Cola. There's uh, yeah. oh crap. Oh crap! He says. <laughs> uh, well, I, I it has other stuff too. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven shirts. 
Oh. But it has some other stuff. But yeah, it's a official Coca Cola brand shirts. I mean, it totally I makes sense. Go on. No, I was gonna say it totally makes sense for big brands to jump in the merch. It's a no brainer. It's so easy. It's easy money, pretty much. Yeah, somebody yeah, else has jumped in last week. Higher. Who it was now? You right. know, get, get some kid to upload these shirt designs yes. on the merch all day and just sit there and crank them out. <clears throat> the Marvel yeah. Thor shirts. Are you clicking? Click on Marvel. See how many shirts? Because I see Marvel ones up there all the time. Yeah, there's yeah, a ton the, of them. The top ones are the Thor shirts since Thor came out last week. Well, how uh, many uh, does Marvel have up there? Fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. Okay, I have more than Marvel. I bet they're making more money than me, though. <laughs> <laughs> Theirs are all nineteen ninety nine. All their shirts. What's crazy about Disney is they have, you know, they're into merchandising, so they have all these files pretty, it's like they have all these files saved in their servers, so pretty much someone just has to come and format them to the Amazon spec, and that's why they got so many, they were just so easy to upload. Yeah, speaking of Disney, here's one that's going to get removed soon, Tigger costume shirt. Uh-oh. And that's not, uh, those aren't official. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, is it, it doesn't say Disney anywhere in the title, does it? So it says Tigger. No, it yeah, says but, Tiger. Tiger. Oh. Isn't Tigger two Gs? T I L G E R. Yeah. That's okay. right. I'm sorry. It's Tigger, a Tiger shirt. <laughs> but it does. They did have a Tiger. If you click their brand, they do have a shirt. Well, nah, that's a bad Tigger. So it's probably a Tiger. So uh, Sheena in the chat's asking um, when do Christmas sales start kicking in? <laughs> Don't know. If I look at my last year, well, last year I had one shirt that killed it in the last three days of December. But uh, November was my worst month last year. Yeah. I mean, if my I December was really good. But. but yeah, my December I had almost 700 shirts or $700, uh, 175 shirts. But. But uh, yeah, November was my worst month last year. And she, I think she was saying, I think Black Friday will be huge. And I know last year we, were, we thought that too, Black Friday and Cyber Monday were going to be huge. But I don't remember no. it being that big of a deal. It wasn't. I, didn't, I don't think I sold. No, maybe one or two. It was. I remember I, we were all like, "Here we go!" Yeah. And then it was like, mm. "Dead." <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, and last November I sold twenty-two shirts total. Wow. I didn't have a lot of designs up personally because I wasn't, I was just getting into it. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm still new. I haven't experienced a, a Christmas or a Q4 or anything. I started to really, I had my account from last year, but I didn't really start going heavy till like March of this year. So this will be a, a fun experience. On a good note, I am have 22 shirts this month so far. So this November equals last November so far. So that's, that's a good. good thing. It's going to be better. Yeah. But yeah. Um, I, personally, I didn't see a big Q4 t-shirt wise last year. Um, I had one shirt that went viral the last three days and then Amazon removed it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think it's just important to, to keep in mind, like you can't count on yeah. one platform to, to be everything. I mean, I was super excited back in what in June or July when I almost hit two grand, and then I haven't done pretty much anything different than I was doing back then, and my sales are, you know, maybe not even quite a thousand last month. So, I mean, just to be, I don't know, get your frame of mind around it too. Like, be, I'm grateful for any, you know, this was extra for us. I'm not, you know, this is not my full time income, but it's something that's a piece of the pie now, you know. Yeah, you actually you actually make a good point, Margaret, about not expecting you know stellar sales every month. You know, it, it, uh, merch is going to be a roller coaster for everyone out there, so just be prepared for the ride. Buckle okay. in, put your helmet on, put your glasses on, and go for the ride. Yeah, retail is always a roller coaster, and so you just got to. And that's what we are. We're retailers now, basically. So you hope that Q four is going to make you go in the black, but. Yeah, it's, the whole thing's getting diluted out there. I was just telling my in-laws the other day because, you know, I go to the swamp meet every weekend to buy stuff, and I was telling them how I just think everything is getting saturated. All my sources 
now are picking up on the value of what they have and they're charging more or they're doing the eBay now and I find less and less out there. And the same thing with the t-shirts. I think it's getting saturated and 93 million shirts to choose from. So yeah. don't put all your eggs in one basket and, and spread yourself around. So if one goes down, hopefully another one will go up. Yeah, I mean, and they'd also like try try <clears throat> to find something new to add to your arsenal of, not even, you know, like your pieces of your pie that you've got income coming in. Try to find something new. And I, I see a lot of, I mean, that's one of the only things that really kind of bugs me about some of the Facebook groups. Some people are so negative about just, like, it's not fair. I'll never get, oh, there's, you know what I mean? I mean, it's hard for me to talk because I have a pretty good sales, comparatively speaking, but... I mean, even if I wasn't, I mean, just you've got to be. I don't know. See, the thing is, everyone's so concerned about keywords and like inventory and sourcing and advertising. A, a lot of people don't talk about the mindset of the seller. You have to have the proper mindset in this business because if you're just going to be negative, Nancy, down on yourself, always like, wow, 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 you know, that's going to actually, the universe is going to flow that negative yeah. energy right back at you. It's going to bounce off the moon going to hit you in your dome and your sales are going to be slow so you got to have a positive attitude people it's that simple or you have to have a good medication to counteract <laughs> the negative uh. <laughs> so yeah next time somebody posts in in one of the groups about how it's not fair that they'll <laughs> i'll just let them know the moon is sending those negative energies back to you dude and the take uh, uh, medication I agree with them though um i you know, I'm think every time I hear Kaching, I say thank you in my mind. You know, I'm think even though it was the four dollar sale, you know, my first instinct is go, God damn it, a four dollar sale? Are you? Oh. No, I I'm thankful for every little dollar. And I even, I you can't see it, but I have a big whiteboard with a big old decal that says be positive. And I know I get down sometimes because sales go down, but I, you know, just got to turn around and say they're going to pick up. It's yeah. the nature of the beast. Yeah. I mean, when I first started, my first month was a $7 month. And I could have been like, oh, man, seven bucks. Glenn made 10 grand last month. You know, <laughs> no, like that's $7 I didn't have last month. I can go buy cold cuts and milk for my family. Yeah. You and know, you, should, you shouldn't really compare yourself to other people, too. I mean, you, I know you weren't. You were looking at, uh, at Yong's or whoever's, and you're yeah, like, yeah. you know, oh, they're making this. You know, that's another mindset killer is it, as humans, in this whole like 20th century that we lived in, we're so programmed to like, you know, oh, the grass is greener on the other side. But once you start to like uh, dig de down deep inside yourself and you realize that you're, you're your own boss, you know, you need, you, you're the, you're the pretty much master of your own destiny. And once you start to change your mindset on how you go about living your life, like you can, you can wake up and be unhappy just from someone cutting you off, you know, on the freeway or whatever, or you can just be like, look, that person, you know, is doing this or whatever. And, you know, as long as you just like keep yourself, you know, they're okay. Do you guys know about stoicism? Yes. Philosophy. That's, that's how I try to live my life. You know, I'm, I'm not perfect or anything. You know, there's a lot of things that piss me off daily, but there's a certain amount of things that are out of your control. There's this little box right here and you're inside here. And as long as you don't let the stuff that's outside the box affect you, you know, you can you can try to live a positive life and just try to work with it like that. So I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't want to be in a box. <laughs> don't put me in a box. I'm free. Yeah, <laughs> instead of looking at the green, grass greener on the other side, water and fertilize your own grass. And exactly. And then pee across the fence into the neighbor's yard. <laughs> no, that's your <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, no, I'm joking. Yeah, totally. Comparison is just the thief of joy. Absolutely. I mean, you can't, you can't be happy while you're constantly comparing like. So, yeah. yeah. So Sheena's asking is stoicism like Buddhism and I, I'm going to get into it real quick. It's a stoicism is like a philosophy and the very, the very like core at, of, of that philosophy is there's certain amount of things that are in your control, like your emotions. And there's certain things out of your control, like people cutting you off, people being rude to you. You can either choose to let that affect you or not affect you. You're in charge of your emotions. Yeah, That's basically, good. keep your cool. That's what you have control over. Right? That's Buddhism, too. 
<laughs> well, there you go. I guess that it, I'm, you I can't know. control. I don't know. That's just my take. You can't control the person who's making you angry. You can only control your reaction to that person. So says Buddha. Exactly. So, so anyways, Buddha. back to merch, everyone. If you have any questions, please leave them in the chat, and we will try to get, we will try to get into. Them. We didn't mean to get all serious on you guys. No, you know, but Mark, I think people need to hear it. Yeah, actually, you're right. You know, because the thing is, I do see a lot of negativity out there in the in the in the webs, and everything. And a lot of that stuff is available. Just don't let it get to you. You know, everyone's on their own journey. I mean, me for anyone. Like, I I've I've had so many bad experiences in my life, and I just you know, you just gotta roll with the punches. Yeah, don't punch me because I'll kick you in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, Richard Aficionado Young is in the chat. Hey. That was rude of me. Apologies. For what? <laughs> Threatening you. Oh no, you didn't threaten me. That was <laughs> no, we were playing off each other. Ah, come on, okay. Mark. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. I wouldn't really. Yeah. I would cry. I would fall on the floor and cry. <laughs> anyway. Here we go. We got a question. It says, E boys in the house. He says, Do keywords even matter in a world of ninety seven million shirts with the funny <laughs> keyword? I think keywords are I think keywords are everything. I do. Like it and personally, if you're gonna get your shirt found design is everything. No, I've sold some crappy designs, but with killer keywords. Oh. I feel like this is the uh, great taste great, less filling debate. <laughs> there, there's no like really gaining gaining gaming gaining whatever the system in merch. There's not. There's I, ways that go ahead, Jeff. Oh, no, go ahead. No, I was gonna say, like, there's everyone's trying to like, how do I gain the system? How do I gain the system? How do I get the edge? You gotta just do and see what works for you. There's no like, okay, what do you think, Jeff? That's that's basically what I was gonna say. Too many everything I see on the, the webs is people are so worried about keywords and doing keyword research and all this. Just describe your shirt. It takes a minute to type in. The who, what, why, and where of the shirt. Who is going to wear it? Why they're going to wear it? What is your shirt? Don't don't spend so much. You're going to spend two hours worrying about keywords and keywords for research. You could have made five or six shirts in that time and had them all uploaded and just describe your shirt. Yeah. I don't spend hours on it, but I mean, I just try to think of. Yeah, you do. I don't. I don't. Um, American yesteryear brought up a good point saying try listing a shirt without keywords and the funny part that triggered my mind to think like when I first started I got so many rejections from um, my bullet points and the descriptions that I'd never put bullet points or descriptions and some of my best sellers to this day just have titles nothing else I, I do I do type my shirt description in Merton former to see if there's other shirts like it up there and half the time, the best sellers, the highest ranked ones, don't have bullet points. So, as I was saying, don't don't uh, worry so much about it. Joe is in the house. Hey, hey, Joe. Joe had a meeting today, or was was getting ready for a meeting. Is he frozen now? He's frozen. Know. Darn it. Let it go. Yeah, I mean another thing until Joe gets situated is that when people spend so much time, I see this in the groups a lot, they, they'll share another shirt they found on Amazon to, to complain about it. How do they get away with this? Or look at this title. Blah, blah. I'm like, are you kidding me? Why are you spending all your time looking at other shirts and complaining about it in the group when you could be turning around designing a better shirt? You know? I agree wholeheartedly. That's a <laughs> piece of mine. <laughs> like why? It doesn't happen that often, if at all, in Joe's group. I, I will say, and I'm happy about that. But a lot of the bigger groups, not to say Joe's groups not big, big but um, a lot of the other groups, I see well, that in almost every other post, and I just get so tired of it. I don't even. Well, the cool thing about Joe's group is that Joe and I are the admins in there. I don't. Did he make y'all admins? No. No. Okay. Well, anyway, Joe and I are admins in there, so. 
all any anytime somebody posts something, it has to go through the approval process. That means that Joe or I have to look at it and say it's okay to go into the group. So when we see stuff like that, we're like, nope. Oh, <laughs> And that's a that's actually a good thing to do because there's a lot of groups where just you're right, just negativity runs rampant, and it just it's not yeah. it's not it's not good for the environment. No, and I mean, and, and, and speaking of that, okay, Joe's group is called Merch University on Facebook, so definitely go. You have to answer the question because he asks like a question, you have to answer it, or else you won't get approved to get join the group. But I think it's important to keep a group positive. I mean, I do that with my thrifting group. Like, you have to answer these questions. And no, like we really have some strict rules that we don't, ha you know, we're productive. We're not going to sit around bitching and moaning about stuff. Yeah. There, I posted the link in the yeah. chat for those that are not a part of this amazing group of positive <laughs> merch sellers and entrepreneurs. Yeah. He just shared, was it this morning? He shared a list um, of 100 long sleeve shirt title niches or top searches yeah. for long sleeve shirts or something yeah. like that you have to pay someone in another group for their ebook for that information <laughs> you get it for free at merch <laughs> university <laughs> i hope he didn't take it from that other person <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what? No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> no it's it's a really i mean joe puts out a lot of good information definitely he, he and he asks a lot of questions to get your your brain juices thinking you know, so. AK yeah. still in ideas. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Potato. No. Potato. <laughs> yeah, no. No, Jeff, I mean, uh, yeah, Joe, he does a great job of keeping the community there engaged. The, the conversation is flowing every day. There's a new concept that I'm just have to like, oh, okay, that's interesting. So definitely. Yeah. And then uh, another thing I was thinking about too is even if you show people stuff, People, some people are lazy, and even if you show them, they don't go do it. Like, so Mike <coughs> Peterson, Treasure Gnome, has been talking about is it a AMS? Is that the Amazon's? What is yeah, it? is that what it's called? Where you can promote stuff through that? And I, I hear people talk about it, and I'm just like, yeah, yeah, awesome. I'm not even going to do that. But now I'm like, oh, maybe you know, maybe I'll go look at it. But I think even if you show people stuff, people want it to be easy or hand it, you know. Here. I'm still not sure that AMS is kosher. Really? I don't know. I was just going to go watch his video he did about it. It was made for FBA sellers, and you technically have to do something as an FBA seller and send in product or something, but there's a work around or something, and that's for how merch people are using it, and I'm not kosher. I'm not sure. I'm just, I'm not sure it's kosher, and that's why I haven't done it, and Amazon hasn't come out one way or the other, and I just don't want to lose my account because it. Yeah, I mean, well, I've heard Chris Green talk about it too. So, not that that's the be all end all, but. Yeah, I won't go there. I'm just like maybe maybe it's something to find out more about Amazon marketing services. That's what Val says. I couldn't remember what it stood for. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it, 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 yeah. It, there's a part in there you have to send in product. Because it was made for the FBA, and I don't know, I don't remember how, but there's a way around that, and that's what the merch people do to get yeah. advertising. And Amazon hasn't stopped it, so maybe they're okay with it, but there's something in the uh, rules that right. I'm saying no, I'm not going to risk it. And if you're live in the chat, or if you're watching later, leave a comment and let us know if you use the, if you have used. AMS with your merch stuff. Brian's saying, I think you can do a workaround by being a Kindle publisher. Yeah. Technically supposed to have seller's account, FBA. So yeah, I have a seller's account. Yeah. So yeah, Robert Smith, yeah, Treasure Note has a video about it. I was going to, I saved that video actually. I was going to watch it later today. But yeah, let us know if you do. So I don't know. I mean, if it's cool to do, then maybe I. Yeah, I, I'm not positive. I just I got a bad vibe when I was reading things on it, and I was about to do it, and I said, "Nah, I'm not gonna risk my stuff unless some, you know, unless Amazon puts things there. Okay, for merch sellers, check this box. You're a merch seller. I'm not gonna, because Amazon, you don't play with Amazon. 
<laughs> yeah. So do you, are you guys doing anything else for marketing? Are y'all doing? Just a typical social media. I did run a Facebook ad a couple weeks ago. Yeah. It was from my website. And I did get some sales from it for the first time in a long time. I've talked about it before. I ever I advertise in my niches and things like that, and kind of post shirts. And I I I, I learned how to walk the line about spamming groups and things like that because th you don't want to be as like how how I look at it when I do my advertising in groups and things is I look does this if I was on the outside looking in does this look like spam? You know, there's a way to promote your stuff within the groups. And also I I've been doing uh, Pinterest ads. I think last month I was doing them, and I actually like uh, I like Pinterest ads a lot, but you know. I was going to try Pinterest head. One thing I did try for my website that may still work good for Amazon is um, Facebook marketplaces. Mm -hmm. uh, you can add all the market local marketplaces, you know, join all those little groups. And, and then from marketplace, you do one listing and it puts them in all the market, all the for sale groups for you. And so I made a little uh, graphic of, you know, t-shirts <laughs> and all that. And I, added that to all my marketplaces and I got a lot of traffic out of it because I watched the traffic there and I got a couple sales. So, and then you can also every seven days, seven days, you can reboost your listing. So it will go back to the top again and you can do that like five times, I think. <clears throat> here's a little uh, Nostradamus kind of looking into the crystal ball of things here. Um, as merch becomes more saturated with the amount of sellers and designs, marketing is going to be your edge to all this kind of uh, population of shirts and things like that. That's my future for seeing. So the thing is, you know, there's going to be all these shirts, 93 million right now. It's going to be the marketing aspect that's going to put you above the, um, what do you say, the organic search results, you know. 2018 is going to be year of the marketing. <laughs> Calling it now. Just went up a thousand shirts. <laughs> nice. It's now oh. 671,000. Okay, so a little bit of chat in the chat about AMS. Um, you need a vendor express account to get AMS. Somebody else said something about it. Where to go? <clears throat> um, gosh, it was. Okay, Criterion, I recently tried to sign up for AMS using instructions I found for merch sellers, but it's thrown me where I need to supply a registered brand, so I'm stuck and probably not going to proceed. Yeah, okay, that's probably what you were talking about. Everybody wants to know where Mango is. I don't know. He's probably off sleeping. Oh, okay. Which okay, then there's a couple questions about average cost in advertising with Pinterest and Facebook ads. I got to go get some water. Hang on. I'll yeah, back. sure. I'll talk about Pinterest ads real quick. And then Jeff, you can talk about, uh, you've done, Jeff, have you done um, Facebook marketing before? Yeah, I do Facebook ads. Okay. So let me talk real quick about Pinterest and then Jeff will explain um, his, his experience with Facebook ads. So Pinterest ads are pretty good. You do, you can just pretty much upload your, um, what I do is I go to my Amazon page and I, and I kind of do a copy or a, a screen grab and then I, I, you know, cut it out and then put it in there in my Pinterest ads. And you can run ads for like, you know, 10 cents a click. It's the same kind of click thing, but it, for me, it seems like, you know, there's just like Facebook, you can pretty much set how much you want to spend per click. And I feel like Pinterest ads, they get a lot of uh, views comparatively to uh, stuff that I've done on Facebook. So pretty much Pinterest ads, you can set it however much you want. If you want to spend a dollar a day, for a certain amount of time or ten dollars a day it's the same thing you know as any other marketing so is that pretty much your experience with Facebook ads yeah you said you can set a daily budget and then you set a campaign budget and um, what I like about Facebook ads you, is you can target your audience um, like if I'm gonna do a cat shirt or some cat shirts I can target it to people that are between the ages of 18 and whatever 60 um, females and then put in their cat lovers and, and it, it and it will tell you how many and what your reach to me because you don't want to do a generic ad just to everybody between the ages of 16 and 85 because then you're going to have a market of 8 to 10 million people and it's just too broad 
So you want to narrow your your uh, reach down, and uh, you'll get more bang for your buck that way. And I usually do like a ten dollars for three day run or something like that. Like if I'm going to have a sale on my website, I'll do a three day run during the sale and do ten fifteen dollars. You know, you don't get to pick the per click rate. It, it will adjust. You know, depending on your competition, but um, you can set your daily budget and then your campaign budget, and uh, yeah, and yeah, then you can down the field as much as you want. I'll do t-shirt people that are interested in t-shirts. You know, you can do that in Facebook. You know, people are looking for t-shirts, so you'll target a little bit. Or, but I don't run them that often because the t-shirt because how, how am I going to say that? The T-shirt market for a Facebook ads has, again, gotten saturated, and people aren't buying off those as much anymore because of Teespring and uh, what's the other one? I don't know. But who their whole business model when they first started was Facebook ads, and it just kind of killed it. Right. And Jeff, you, you brought up a really good point because I've done marketing for years and I've, I've used all kinds of different platforms. And Jeff is absolutely correct when he says that from my, my experience working on multiple platforms, Facebook is one of the best at focusing your target audience for sure. And there's like a little skill that'll show you like, you know, how many people it's going to reach. And you want to try to, like Jeff was saying, you don't want to try to reach, you know, 3 million people. You want to narrow it down a little bit, you know, a hundred thousand people, 50,000 people. You want to focus if you're selling cat shirts to, I don't know, the feline society of Nebraska. You know what I mean? There's, it, it gets that specific, even to down to the zip code. Yeah. And I pretty much market only to the United States, and I don't really care about those international people. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Margaret, welcome back. Thanks. Yeah, I'm, this cough is – I'm drinking a lot of water because of it. Uh, did you guys talk about the Pinterest ads and stuff? Yeah, we talked about that. And actually, there was a question that says uh, Diana Eden was asking, have you been able to tell if you've gotten any sales from Pinterest? No, not really, but I've noticed that once when I was doing the Pinterest ads, my sales did pick up. And I, I want to correlate it to that because that was the only advertising that I was doing at the time. So, but there's no specific way to, you know, correlate a sale with Pinterest ads, to my well, knowledge. Facebook, um, Facebook, it will tell you you can get a report and you'll go see how many clicks you got, how many impressions you got, how many clicks fall through. Um, and there is a complicated call of it's like a pixel. I forget what they call it. The Facebook something or another that you can put in there to help track it in more but if, if if you're doing when i did my pinterest ads last and i did this last q4 maybe i ought to do it again if you have a if you're sharing your amazon affiliate links you ha there's a way to tag your affiliate links like i would put you know there's like a, a, a code that i could put so i would know if it was coming from an instagram click or a pinterest click so if I'm creating my Pinterest ad using an Amazon affiliate link with my Pinterest link, you know, where, where it's tagged to that, so I'll know where it's pointing from. That's kind of how it's, I would find that. It's kind of what the Facebook pixel thing does. And yeah. it, it was not very intuitive, so I just I didn't really care, you know, who or what. I just give me the money. <laughs> I mean, I can tell, you know, I can look at the ad and see I got – you know, five clicks or 20 clicks or whatever. And during that time frame, I might have got so many sales. So I can kind of, you know, correlate that and see if it was worth the money or not. Yeah. So, I mean, I've had times where I've done Facebook's ad and I got clicks and I hadn't had any sales during that period. So I say, screw this. It's, and then take my negativity medication and <laughs> move on. Shield the rays of the moon from my brain. <laughs> yeah, I know market has this issue as well. I have general anxiety disorder, and I had it real bad years ago. I'm better with it now. Retail and online sales is not the best thing to do if you have an anxiety disorder. But I try, try teaching kindergarten. <laughs> yeah, it's just oh man, you're going through all the sales, and all of a sudden, like like this morning. I've had no, I think I had one eBay sale and no merch sales. And I'm just waiting for my anxiety to kick in and go, the world's ending. I'm going to go broke. I need to go 
get a job at Walmart and then sales will start coming in later and I'll relax. Yeah. I definitely, I feel you on that. I don't talk about it as much as I did. I, there was a few months back where I was talking more about the, the anxiety and stuff, but I got some, I got some shade. People threw me some shade for sharing that kind of stuff. So. Oh, well, right. Well, yeah. the thing is, I feel like people don't want it. People don't want a dose of reality, you know, too much. You know what I mean? Cause there's, there's, there's real talk. People don't want to hear real talk sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's the smiley, happy Margaret? That's the girl we like. We don't need, we don't need this girl that's got problems. <laughs> uh, uh, in this duality world, this yin and yang world that we live in, and uh, newsflash, everyone, good and evil, it's a thing. Um, you definitely need that balance because you, you know, you, you definitely need to talk about the the mental aspect of reselling. It's just part of it. Yeah. You know, you definitely got to discuss it. So. Yeah, when I first got into this. I still have my photography business going and you know, I'd be dead in photography and eBay hasn't picked up me. I would be looking at, I'd be filling out target applications at night, but then things would pick back up and I'd, you know, that's one reason I got into this eBay and merch and all this is because my photography was slowing down and I can't really do a nine to five job or a, I can't stand there and greet people and say, welcome to Walmart. It's just too physical for me. Yeah, yeah, it's reality, and 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 since I do talk about it on my YouTube videos and stuff, and all the issues I have, I have found so many people out there in the same boat, and it's that's why I like talking about it because it helps to know I'm part of a community of people that are messed up like me, and yeah, we're we're doing it. I mean, I definitely did have some people that that were oh yeah, I got a sale. Um, <laughs> That that were grateful, you know, that they are not just seeing like th that I'm happy all the time. That there's yeah, there's, there's a lot of people out there that are in the same boat, and it makes them feel better that somebody else out there is the same way. Because it's okay. not it's not reality either. Everyone's got ups and downs. Reality, and that's what's see. That's the thing. That's the problem about like comparing yourself with everyone else is there's just you all you see is the good things you see the hot models on instagram mm -hmm. you see the nice flashy cars and everything but i mean i'm struggling you know like no one knows about that but everyone struggles and and i and i believe that like you empower everyone by you know saying look i'm human i got faults i struggle every day just like everyone else you know let it out there yeah yeah That's embrace good. the struggle embrace it embrace the struggle <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The Ching, I that Ching that I got is from the Pretty Merch um, plugin, and they changed it too. Hang on, let me. I'm going to share my dashboard. I love it because they have a little doodad where you can turn off the view, so you can't actually see the names of the shirts, which is awesome. Let me make sure there's nothing else that I need to hide on. I need to say it. Chris is right about the embracing part because that is actually part of the therapy that has got me to this point where anxiety is not as bad as it used to be is by embracing it and not trying to ignore it and make it go away, it, embracing it and working through it and living with it. Amen, yeah. brother. So yeah, this is the dashboard. This is a Chrome plugin. It's called pretty merch. If some people were in the chat were asking about it. Yes. I've had two. Oh, yeah, the time change. What? what? The time change. That's what I was complaining to you guys that, Pretty much was on crack. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. We're showing okay. duplicate day. So yeah, but I like this little like you can turn off so you can't see what the shirts were. <laughs> hit that little blue dot for me. Let me see what that does. Uh, no. Oh, I just hit it. Darn it. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what does that What does that do? <laughs> Shows the name of the shirts. Oh well. Oh, how funny. <laughs> oh well. Now you know. I'm sure I the bear on it. it. <laughs> I would like to say that also. To everyone in the audience, you don't. The thing is, like, I'm I'm a merch purist. I don't use any plugins. I don't use any of this stuff. You could have a, <laughs> have a decent account without going crazy and everything, but this kind of stuff, I guess, does help. You know, a certain amount of people. So it makes it look pretty. I like pretty. <laughs> well, they call it pretty merch. I mean, okay. I have my own spreadsheet that I track everything on, but I like looking at. I like pretty merch. It makes it nice for the daily. Yeah. Except yeah. For when you have this big donut sitting there. <laughs> now I want to go for donuts. 
Yes. I don't mind. I don't mind. Diane's laughing in the chat. I'm thinking about my shirts showing up. That's okay. <laughs> it's cool. It was a bear. Okay. Don't go trying to zoom in on the screen later. <laughs> it was a bear shirt. I took a screen capture. It makes it easier. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not. I'm not doing anything till they approve my long sleeves. I know they're still processing it on my end too. Uh, I got to do the shipping today, and then I got to work on my. I'm enclosing the back deck so we can put a jacuzzi up. So, and I can only work like I thirty minutes a day. <laughs> so thirty minutes, I'm hurting. So you, what you should do is go down to the local um, motor motor in motel and see if they've got an old jacuzzi out back there. What willing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some Griswold family Christmas used uh, <laughs> jacuzzi. No thanks. Hey Jeff, when you get this uh, new jacuzzi, you need to do a, a stream live from uh, the jacuzzi one day. Oh, yeah. I definitely have that planned out already. Nice. <laughs> Jeff, after hours, live <laughs> from the jacuzzi. We're getting hot it tub. On Give me hot tub. Screened in there for privacy, and our cats will have a catio now out there. <laughs> <laughs> so they can oh. go out there and enjoy the fresh air. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You heard it here, folks. First here, catio. Yeah, the catio. I guess it's That's a, thing. a big thing. You haven't heard about that? No. They even have these little things you can put on your window. You know, so it's like a window box for cats, and it's all screened so they can go out there. Mm, I've seen that. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, look yeah. on Pinterest for catio. Hey, everybody. Hit the, hit the thumbs up button. Yes. Are you trying to wrap it up now? It'll I make It'll make you feel happy inside. All the negative energy will go away once you click the, the like button. I'm telling you it's instantaneous. It, it's a lifesaver. You're going to thank me later. It's the power of that. What is it? The power of attraction that we were talking about. Yeah, the law of attraction. It's the a universal law. The thumbs up for you. The thumbs up for us. It's a win-win. That's right. <laughs> and, and make sure you subscribe to these guys and also hit the bell for me because I'm going to be doing a review of MerchDesigns.com either tomorrow or Friday morning because I'm going camping Friday. We're going camping this weekend. So, But you have to be live because I'm going to do the review. I'm going to share the, the site and talk about it and everything. Hang on. But then I'm going to do a review. I mean, uh, do the giveaway for shirt designs for merchdesigns.com, merch-designs.com. And you got to be there to win free shirt designs. So hit the bell. It's coming. So why do you get to go camping? Why? Because I'm a scout mom. Scout moms represent. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Scouts are scouts are um, trademark too. So don't try working. to make a scout mom shirt. <laughs> do what? You should be working. I should be working. I'm. It's going to be super hard. I do have a wireless puck that I take with me though, like hmm. a Wi-Fi puck. It's a GoPro phone. Let's say not a phone, but it's like a GoPro wireless but we're in the middle of the woods on the border of texas and louisiana there's no last time i had to go make a phone call i had to drive into town and sit in the dollar the dollar general parking lot just to make a phone call so i don't think there's going to be any work there's going to be gators and mosquitoes and boys i do have to go to orange county saturday i'm debating it though my daughter's got a competition semifinals up in Orange County and I don't know if I'm gonna go hour and a half drive. She's a flag spinner, right? Yeah. Well good I'll luck to her those drives. That's a shirt. What? Gators, skeeters and beignets or something like that. I'm just like, what's what can I do? What kind of shirt can I do? Gators. Skeeters and Gators is trademark. Gators is trademarked? Yeah. Florida Gators, maybe. Oh. Hmm. Just try it. They're just going to reject it. Nothing's going to happen. It's all right. Whatever. <laughs> Gators is probably trademarked too, then. Probably. Who? What? Skeeters. 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 TM, TM Hunt, everyone, for quick analysis on trademarks. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I okay. Site. I gotta go because I'm supposed to go. Hang no, out. you're gonna what stay here forever. You're okay. stuck here forever. You gotta explain to Jersey Boys. I gotta go get my bars. Oh, that's right. Oh my God, you gotta go do that. Everyone, go watch out. Hey, I'm Chris. Chris, Chris blah, 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 blah. I'm that guy. Don't follow me. Don't like any of my stuff or anything. Just embrace the struggle, everyone. Embrace the struggle.
Jeff? Hi. Bye. Yeah, I'm going to be over on Anthony. I can't say his last name. It starts with a B. I can't okay. watch it. I you have to put it in my bathtub. Oh. Before they sell it. Tub. I'm going to find my bar of soap because those boys got some language that needs cleaning up. Texas gal is on the way. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. All right. Bye. Bye.